Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from NMWatch and yes, I'm back with another watch review. So this time around, the subject of our re to today's review is this. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so let's let's do this. Tokmaster 1987 Aromatic 1912. So I am not sure which is the <laughs> the, 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 the brand but on the dial the watch says talk 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 master and i assume this is the model number but i'm not really sure so if you guys are in the know so please do let me know right so anyway <laughs> so let's see what's inside the packaging so you have this um aromatic and tarkmeister 1967 germany so this is a germany brand so there's nothing there so we have this um foam cover here and it comes with this um, I what i call this accordion style strap which is you know what um something similar that you would find on your seiko sk x sk x009 or something like that so there's no signed uh, buckle here and it's as stiff as the ones that you would find on the cycle right so what else so we have this aromatic 1912 frankfurt germany um this is a 24 month uh, warranty international guarantee so i'm not really sure where in malaysia that we could send them to but yes yeah, so this is since this is a borrowed watch so i'm not gonna be complaining because yeah i borrowed this from mr rizal baba and yep that's it that's all about the, the packaging right so that's about the packaging so let's put this on the side and let's see how it looks right right definitely this is a dive watch so the dimensions let's check out the dimensions so i'm gonna try to use my right hand right hand this time around so the diameter is about that's going to be about 47 47 mil yeah 46 or 47 millimeters depending on where you are measuring it but when you see the watch as this actually looks a lot smaller because you are your eyes are going to be concentrating on the um on this on the dial so not the case size so from the side you can see that it is tapering it is chamfered from bottom to the top so yeah although it is 46 mil it is still uh, usable all right so from the luck to luck, it's a bit interesting because if you measure from the bottom here, that will be about 45.5 millimeters. And the thickness, let's just pull this one out a bit. And the thickness is about 15 millimeters. So a very, very, oh, the, the, the strap width or the luck width is 22 millimeters. So quite a chunky and heavy watch so there's no running away from that right so let's see how it weighs so this is my simple scale here and you can see on this um this is my own you know a strap from uh slufwatchstrap.com so you can see this this is this weighs about 113 grams so even on this strap it is quite a chunky watch right so let's get it out of the way so what do you get for your money oh so talking about the price i've been searching th um, throughout um ebay and i found this um ah, it's around 150 200 dollars some sellers are selling it for about 300 dollars i'm not really sure what was the price that my friend bought this but it is around that ballpark so is it so that puts it around the price of a maybe a seiko turtle or seiko monster so is it any good and the movement there i've searched around the website as well there is nothing uh, they don't mention anything about the movement so normally this affordable you know uh, german brand sometimes they use miyota but when i pull the crown yeah, it stopped so um if it's using the miyota 8200 series did that should not happen but it is they, they never mentioned that if they are using a seiko movement or whatsoever so i'm on the blind on this one guys so if you guys know any information about the movement that is used in any um how must meister uh, watches plus please do let me know right so a the case so the case is a fully brushed stainless steel here and this is um i think it's a horizontal 
brush on the side and from the top they have this circular brushing here and it, it is uh, you can see that it is part what do you call this um, man I don't really know how to call this one but um, this is a tenor tenor cover no um, a hooded hooded lug or something like that so you don't you can't really see the lux here so it is a hooded lug so and um, we have a crown guard here which is a bit short in my opinion because the crown is quite long and yeah you can see the knurlings on the crown which makes it easy to operate and we have this <laughs> very 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 creepy and easy to use um bezel here and the click is nice it doesn't really sound that cheap and i believe that is a stainless steel bezel insert um because it is quite thin I, I can't really test it but it looks like it's stainless steel we have a loom pip on the top here and surprise surprise we have a manual uh what do you call it helium escape valve which i you know what i've i've unscrewed it it doesn't really do anything and i've screwed it back it doesn't <laughs> you can't really see anything uh, from the bottom as well so i'm not really sure i'm going to be using that if if i do on this watch so the glass the glass i think just by tapping it it is it is sapphire crystal and let's just um see what is available for the printing right so let's do that 10 10 10 10 situation oh no it's the way it's the other way around 10 10 situation oh maybe not uh, yep so okay so we have the the printing of Tauch 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 Meister Germany 1937 Germany or 2021 duels water resistance 200 to 20 bar or 200 meters and the um <coughs> printing is all uh, there is we have these Arabic numerals on all the hour indices except on the four o'clock and that date wheel is a pain in the butt because it doesn't really it's not symmetrical to the four o'clock and uh, but it's somewhere in the 340 or three what <laughs> 350 region there so it's a bit you know what annoying <laughs> for me at least all right so any anyway um what else to talk about this watch um oh yeah the case back so let's see let's just uh, so you, you can see it is quite easy to adjust the uh, adjust the the time the, the the date wheel and everything so yeah you can see that it is in uh black on white date wheel but you know what that just annoys me a bit because it's not on the four o'clock right so like i mentioned just now we have a hacking and hand winding movement we can hand wind it so there's no a weird sound or anything like that so the hands the hand is a what they call this a sword style uh mini hands and uh, and a sword another sword style uh, our hands and we have a lollipop uh, counterbalance uh, second hands and i'm not really sure if it does have any loom on those lollipop counterbalance well we'll do a loom check later on right so let's just screw that back in so it's easy to screen and screen and screw out but it doesn't have that you know pop let's see at the back what is available here so it mentioned here water resistance 20 bar germany a old stainless steel and we have nine oh talkmeister 1937 and uh, with that diving helmet there and t0251 okay so this might be the um the model number a uh, talkmeister 1937 t0251 not not the aromatic <laughs> so aromatic is a brand name ah, now i remember right so okay so let's put it on my wrist so let's put let's put back that spring bar here so you can see that the holes are quite deep right so the holes are quite deep and these uh, lug holes is quite you know uh, spacious so you can put a whole lot of uh, strap types type here so it doesn't really need to be that thin but i am into this um, you know french military style straps right now so i just love this thing so especially the ones that i've got from and uh, my buddy at lovewatchstrap.com okay so <laughs> sneak peek guys so i am wearing a helson that is also borrowed from another friend yeah check out that thing that <laughs> it looks really really good we will get into the uh, full review for this particular piece soon enough but yeah let's concentrate on this 
Tochmeister, right? So this thing is very, very tall, but because of the short lug to lug distance, uh, it wears just nice, especially on this super stretchy strap from lovewatchstrap.com, right? So yeah, let's just adjust it a bit because it's choking my hand and yes, it sits tall, very, very proud on my wrist. So let's just zoom in a bit. So this is how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist. So from the side, it is quite a tall and chunky thing. It looks like a bit like a hockey puck, but yeah, I don't really, I'm not really uh, bothered with that because I've been, I've recently been, uh, you know what, attracted by the design philosophy of the Seiko Tuna. I've had, I have another um, Still Life Tuna homage watch, which is almost similar to this one. And yeah, I, I think I could wear that. And of course I could wear this as well. All right, so maybe I should do a comparison between the Still Life Tuna watch versus this one. Huh? So what do you guys think? All right, so anyway, so let's do a wrist, uh, so a loom check and see how it looks, how it glows in the dark. So because we already have this Helsen, right? So why don't put in both of them as a comparison? Both uh, this, I'm not really sure whether you can call Tauchmeister a micro brand, micro brand, but yeah, uh, uh, Helsen is a micro brand though, but still, let's just see how it, how they glow in the dark. Oops, okay, where's my switch? Boom. All right, so you can see definitely the Helsen kills it because this is a very, very superb loom, but on the Tauchmeister, so we have quite um a, a good loom but i don't know i don't think uh you know, on my eyes i can see uh, much clearer but on the, the camera doesn't really pick up the loom on the talkmeister but all of the um our indices are glowing it's just that it's it's not as bright as any seiko or or even the helsen for that matter so yeah this is you know what i'm not really sure what to call this is this a diver or it is a combination of both I'm not really sure, but it is what it is, right? So, if you have any, uh, if you have owned a Talkmeister, uh, so please go ahead and give me a comment of your user experience down below. And if you like to know anything more about this watch, please do, please do, uh, again, again, comment on the uh, comment section. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more future review, video reviews such as this one, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to push the bell notification twice until next time stay safe bye bye